Welcome to Core Form 360 and Workout with Jen and the Hashtag The Habit series. This is our five minute resistance training workout today. So I hope you're ready to get a little bit of move on, get some blood flowing, get those muscles stronger, okay? So um, today's workout is comprised of five exercises um, and we'll be doing them for two rounds, um, including a little bit of a warm up at the beginning. Um, and so they'll, we'll be working about 30 seconds each with a little modification to fit within the time, the time frame that I promise. I'm a little bit out of breath because I just did another workout. So, <laughs> um, so today's exercises, um, again, you can, you can use weights if you have them. It'll add that extra resistance. If not, make sure that you are using that mind muscle connection with every single exercise. You should really be feeling your uh, muscles contracting for each and every exercise that you're doing, okay? So uh, if you have weights, great, bring them along. I've got this uh, jump box here. I'm just using it as a guide to show you the right format for this first exercise. It's a split squat and um, I have it here. And if you have a flat wall or something like this, you can use it too if this is the first time you're doing this exercise. The point of it is to prevent your front knee from going over your toe. So we don't want this movement. We want your knee to stay kind of over your ankle. All right, so this is a split squat. And you can put your toe up against a wall and just make sure your knee doesn't go past your toe. Your back knee is actually the knee that you we're focusing on bending, okay? So that one's gonna lead the game, all right? Bend this, bend this, and the front knee will come, all right? And you don't have to touch the ground. I like to pretend that I have an egg underneath my knee um, and go only that far and come up. If you can't um, follow that full range of motion because you have knee issues, a smaller dip is just fine, okay? Do whatever works best for you. So the first exercise is gonna be right leg split squat with an overhead press, okay? Just straight up. And the weights sort of come together up at the top. Then we're gonna do left leg split squat. Um, same thing, just on your other leg. And we're gonna come up to a lateral raise. All right, lateral shoulder raise. So that your arms are horizontal with the floor when you get to the top, okay? That's exercise one and two. Exercise number three is a row, double arm row. You wanna make sure you're at about a 45 degree angle. Um, you don't want your shoulders slouched forward. They should start up, back, and pressed down. Your arms are just sort of hanging with gravity and you're pulling, leading with your elbows straight up, squeezing your shoulder blades together at the top, okay? Double arm rows. All right, next exercise is push-ups. All right, so shoulders over your wrists, push up. If you can't do the full range of motion, up in a plank, full plank, on your knees, okay? If you can't do that full range of motion, up on an incline, do it here, all right? You wanna get that full range of motion. If you're just doing this, you're not really getting anything out of it, all right? And the last exercise is a glute bridge. You'll lay down. You're articulating your spine up one vertebrae at a time, heels in nice and close, all right? Come all the way up. When you get to the top, squeeze your butt, squeeze it, and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Press your back into the ground when you get to the bottom, okay? You can add a weight, you don't need to use one. Um, it adds an extra challenge, up and down, all right? So, ready to go? Um, start my timer. All right, we're gonna start with a little bit of warm up, some jumping jacks, some jogs, just to get our blood flowing. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Move those arms and legs. Move them, move them, move them. Uh, if you need a low impact, you could step out. All right, you can do some jogs if you like those. High knees, get those knees up, or really high marches. If you're gonna do low impact marches, get your knees up, okay? And butt kicks. Okay, we're gonna start with split squats. 
Lift those weights up if you've got them. And overhead press. There we go. Nice tight core. Feel your glutes activating and pushing up. Push through your front heel. You'll feel your whole front leg activating, your back leg activating. Three, two, switch. All right. And lateral shoulder raises. Remember, pretend there's like an egg underneath your back knee. Keep that front knee from really going over your toe. Breathe. Flying away. <laughs> Next thing is going to be rows, guys. So mentally prepare yourself. One more. All right. 45 degree angle. Shoulders up and back. All right. Don't let them hunch forward. This is a posture improving exercise. All right. So if you're training your posture to be down this way, you're defeating the purpose, okay? Really work those back muscles. Squeeze at the top. Pull those weights up. Push-ups next. All right, let's go. Shoulders over wrists. Nice neutral spine. All the way down, all the way up. Breathe when you push up. All right? Even if you have to do these against a wall, that's okay. Just get that full range of motion. That's what's gonna get you strong. Glute bridges are next. Okay, lay down. Heels in nice and close to your body. Bring them in. If you want an extra challenge, lift your toes up. One vertebrae at a time. Press your back in at the bottom. Squeeze your butt up at the top. And breathe, always breathe. Okay, after this guys, we're getting back to the top, split squats. All right, with the overhead press, let's go. This is only five minutes, no rest, okay? Let's go. Squat, got that egg underneath your back knee. This exercise is fantastic for hip stability, knee stability, ankle stability. You're probably feeling a little off balance. That's why we gotta work those deep stabilizer muscles. Switch. And shoulder raises. Nice. Remember, lead downwards with your back knee, okay? That's the one that should be bending first. Your heart rate up, <laughs> mine sure is. Flying away. Rows are next. Okay, let's do these. I always love posture exercises. Really squeeze your shoulder blades up at the top. I always think about it when I'm at my son's soccer game and I catch myself slouching. I think about all these exercises and I don't want to waste them away. Squeeze, keep those shoulders up. Push-ups next. All right, we're only doing 15 seconds of this. So I have to keep my eye on the clock. So make them good. You don't have to go fast, but make them good. 16, and then we're switching right now to glute bridges. Lay down, quick, quick, quick. Get down there, feet in close to your body. Pull them in, pull them in. What? That wasn't time. It took us too long to switch. <laughs> Let's do three, and two, and one. All right, so it was a five minute and five second exercise routine. <laughs> Good job, guys. I wanted to make sure that we stayed on time, but I also don't want to jip you. Uh, glute bridges, that exercise we did at the end, 
They're one of my favorites. They're actually full core exercise. They work your glutes, they work your hamstrings, and they work the deep muscles of your back, your lower back. So they're actually a really great exercise for core stability and also to help mitigate lower back pain. So keep doing those. I like them. You can put a resistance band across your knees. You can use weights. You can modify them and take them up, up a notch. They're really great exercise. Anyway, you guys did a fantastic job. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I will have more resistance training classes to come. So I hope you're enjoying them. If you have any comments or questions or recommendations, please put them below in the comments. I am happy to take feedback so that I can really tailor these exercise routines to what you guys want to do. All right. Great job today. Thank you so much for being here and go rock the rest of your day.